Iran has sent a message of warning in a letter presented at the United Nations Security Council meeting on Monday that they are aware that the United States of America, U.S. has tacitly given approval to what Iran described as unlawful military aggression against him by Israel, saying, such retaliatory attacks will endanger global peace and the U.S. should be held responsible for it. While Iran mission to the United Nations, UN was presenting Iran's case before the global body. The White House on Monday said the United States is investigating an unauthorized release of classified documents that assess Israel's plans to attack Iran. Retired Lieutenant General Richard Newton says the leak puts Israel's mission and the troops in harm's way, but he is confident the person responsible will be found. According to the White House, the U.S. President, Joe Biden is deeply concerned by the leak of classified documents detailing Israel's preparations for its avowed retaliatory strike on Iran. National Security Council spokesperson John Kirby said the Biden administration is yet to determine whether the documents enter the public domain via a leak or a hack, but said the Pentagon is conducting an investigation into the matter that the president is actively monitoring. We'll let the investigation pursue its logical course there, he told reporters during a virtual briefing. The president remains deeply concerned about any leakage of classified information into the public domain. That is not supposed to happen, and it's unacceptable when it does. So he's deeply concerned about that, and you can rest assured that he will be actively monitoring the progress of the investigative effort to figure out how this happened, he added. The documents, dated October 15th and 16, media reports indicated that it began circulating Friday after being shared on Telegram by Middle East Spectator. The leaks reportedly came from a source within the U.S. intelligence community. One of the documents, reportedly compiled by the Defense Department's National Geospatial Intelligence Agency, indicates that Israel's plans involve relocating munitions. The Israeli Air Force continued a launched ballistic missile, ALBM, handling, cover UAV operations, and conducted a second large force employment, LFE, exercise from 15 through October 2024, according to imagery analysis, said the document. It noted that since October 8, the Israeli Air Force has handled at least 16 Golden Horizon ALBMs and more than 40 IS-02 ROX ALBMs. The document said that ABIM handling continued at Hazarim Airfield as of October 16. Another document said it is sourced to the National Security Agency and outlines Israeli Air Force exercises involving air-to-surface missiles also believed to be in preparation for a strike on Iran. Asked by reporters on Friday if he has a good understanding of what Israel's response to Iran's October 1st ballistic missile attack would entail, and when it would occur, Biden said succinctly, yes and yes. Iran said it carried out the October attack in retaliation for the assassinations of Hamas former political leader in Tehran in July and the killing of Hezbollah Secretary General. Hassan Nasrallah in Beirut last month. Nearly 200 missiles were fired in the Salvo, which struck several locations in Israel, including a military facility, but resulted in no fatalities. The exchanges of fire between Tel Aviv and Tehran have escalated this year after Israel bombed Iran's embassy in Syria on April 1, killing senior military officials. Iran responded to that attack two weeks later by launching hundreds of drones and ballistic missiles at Israel. Nearly all were intercepted by Israel, the U.S. and its allies. At the U.N. on Monday, Iran said the U.S. President, Joe Biden has signaled tacit approval and explicit support for Israel's unlawful military aggression against Iran, citing remarks by Biden in Germany last week. The United States will bear full responsibility for its role in instigating, inciting and enabling any acts of aggression by Israel against the Islamic Republic of Iran, as well as for the catastrophic consequences on regional and international peace and security, Iran's UN mission said in a letter to the UN Security Council. 
President Joe Biden had on a visit to Berlin, told reporters he has an understanding of how and when Israel will respond to the missile attacks by Iran. He declined to elaborate. Sazuwa Kong Nedo, bringing you the news in a more digital way.